So we're out here today putting in the second of our trial plots, which is a black kale. So we're putting in these transplants of black kale um, into two different uh, plots of ground. So prior to everything, this field has been in rye corn or forage rye. We've then disked that in uh, to two to three inches and we've applied muck at that time as well to about 10 tons to the acre. We've dished it a second time and then it's been left. So after that, this side to my right has been ploughed to about seven inches and then power harrowed. And to the left has been gone through once with a strip tillage machine. This is the control ploughed and power harrowed section and it's tilled all the way through to about eight inches. And it's much more friable and almost no weeds evident or trash. So this is a section of strip till ground. This is the tillage zone and this will be eight inches deep here. This is eight inches of quite fine material that the plant is in. And then this is the untilled section. So this is only, only tilled down to about two inches here. And it's much blockier than the power harrowed ground and there's still quite a lot of threads of weeds and things present in it. The key concerns about the strip tillage are lack of soil moisture and difficulty weeding. So the soil moisture has actually been quite good with the strip tillage this year, especially at planting. We've had as much moisture as we've had in the ploughed and power harrowed plots. So that hasn't really been an issue. How that would develop later in the season if we if we didn't have rain for a prolonged period of time, we're not sure. We'll have to sort of keep an eye on that. As for weeding and weeds, there definitely is a higher weed pressure in the strip till ground, probably because it hasn't been moved around as much. And also there is a, is more difficult to weed uh, because the the aggregates are slightly bigger and there's a bit more trash and you you have that sort of bulldozing effect if we go through and there's too much trash to move. So the main reason why we really want to pursue the whole strip till system is we're looking to really focus on soil health. Um, hopefully that will be a way for us to build resilience in the farm and be able to mitigate some of the issues of changing climate and things like that. We are really relying on that building of soil organic matter for retaining nutrients and moisture and it's becoming more and more evident that we don't know everything that's going on in the soil and so the more that we can allow it to express its natural form hopefully the better that will be for us as growers uh, and that can only benefit uh, our production of vegetables in the future.